Yo, what up? This is your boy T Mizzle back again with another Marvel Future Fight video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to set up Nox or Memu emulator on your PC and use a controller to control the game. Okay, this will help everyone that is playing on an Android device or possibly a slower type device that experienced lag during Extreme Alliance Battle. This would eliminate that and allow you to get higher scores in Alliance Battle and Extreme Alliance Battle. So again, tutorial today, we're going to be using Nox in our example, and we're going to be setting up the keypads to use with a controller. The controller we're going to be using, um, which is actually the one I just purchased off Amazon, is going to be a Logitech uh, F310. Let me make sure that's right. I think it's an F310. That is correct. It is a Logitech f310 and i will leave the link in the description uh below actually along with the websites of the two programs you're going to be needing to download okay so first thing we're going to need to do is go ahead and open up your internet browser uh you want to go ahead and download Knox if you don't already have it i'm sure that if you most people that know about emulators you probably already have Knox. so go ahead and download Knox. the uh you could just search it in google page looks like this and basically hit free download there and download the program go ahead and install it once you install Knox, you're going to need to do a few things but before we get to that i want you to go ahead and install a second program we're going to need as well okay the second program you're going to need is called joy to key and this is the website again the link will be in the description for you once you get here all you have to do is go down to, oh, let me go back to the main page here. The first page you're going to see when you go to the site is here. Download the latest version for free. When you click this, you're going to come to the second page here. And you want to click the first link as you see on my screen. Download Joy to Key from joytokey.net. Now, I already have the program downloaded and installed. And it is a zip, zip file. But I'm going to go ahead and do it again just to show you what's going to happen when you open it because you are going to need to run this program as an administrator. So now that it's downloaded, I'm going to click on the zip file. Again, it's a zip file here. I'm going to double click it again. Once you get to this page, double click the one that says application, just where you see my mouse cursor. Double click that. Extract all. Just hit extract all. It, it, it will extract it to a, a most likely the same folder but nevertheless go ahead and extract and once you see this pop up after you extract double click that now you will see joy to key again application right click excuse me right click that and run as administrator once you run that as administrator it's going to pop up a window and it should look similar to this right here okay so just leave that go ahead and close those extra windows and you don't need the browser anymore we have the programs we need so let's go ahead and jump back to Knox for a second we'll come back to joy to key in one moment go back to Knox if you have if this is the first time you ever use this or connected a controller what you want to do in Knox there is a little controller configuration on the right side of the screen here as you can see and this could be on the left side or the, or the bottom if you have a different setup you want to find your controller in the, in the list of I items listed here. Now, if you don't see your controller, that means Knox is not recognizing it and you may not be able to use it. OK, so you may try unplugging it from your computer and plugging it back in. But you are going to need to see your controller here. If you get the same one I'm using, the Logitech F310, then it will show. Just make sure you select it here and hit connect. And it says failed, but it's already connected. OK, so. Again, hit connect. It should connect and you should see it here and you should be good to go. And I'm just going to make sure mine is connected. Matter of fact, I'm going to go ahead and unplug mine and plug it back in just to make sure. And I'm going to re I'm going to refresh since I just reconnected mine. And I'll connect again just to make sure I'm good. And yep. So there it is. OK, so now that's done. The next step, you're going to want to go up to the little... This is a simulate, simulate touch. It looks like a little keyboard on the right hand side. You see here where my mouse is at. And it's going to bring up these options. Okay. 
Oh, you know what? Close that. I'm sorry. Close that real quick. Let's go to a mission because you're going to want to go into a mission first. It's very important so you can have all the buttons on your screen. So let's just pick a mission. 8-7 is a very quick mission. Oh, let me log in, of course. Once I log back in, then we can do it. Okay. So while you're waiting, like I said, go ahead and log in to uh, a mission, uh, preferably 8-7 or something, or you can go to any mission you want to go to. Uh, try to pick a team that has a team up bonus. Uh, you don't have to, but it, it would work better. It would work better for you to select your uh, buttons. Okay. And I'll do the same here. All right. So I'm back on. Okay. Just reset. So let's go back. And we're just going to pick a mission. Again, I'm going to use 8 7. And let me get a team up bonus here. I think this one has a bonus. So, yep. I'm just going to hit start. And once we get into the mission, okay, so once we get into the make sure your autoplay is off. Um, I'm going to hit the little settings button just to stop the stop the game from playing now all my buttons are here so now we're going to map our keys um, basically to keep this simple guys i recommend you just copy the same format i have go ahead and click the simulate touch button on the right hand side of your screen it's going to bring up your menus again now you will notice i already have mine set up uh, but i'm going to walk you through how to do the same so the first thing we're going to do is up here where you see drag to create an element for a directional control click that button it's going to give you this diagram right here move it right over the circle the directional pad here and try to line it up perfectly um, there's a black ring kind of right here in the middle of this try to line it up perfectly with the, the, the circle there so I'm gonna line mine up and that looks good Okay, it should already have the AWD, the AWSD in there, and that's fine. Once you do that part, that is all done. Now, once you do that, just move your mouse just until a, and move your mouse on a blank part of the screen here, kind of like this, where you don't have anything, and you'll see it says "click mouse to confirm position." Don't click anything. But now you want to move over to your 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 icons here. Okay, the first one you want to do is the team up since it's here. Go ahead and click on the team up button. It's going to pop up the box. When the box pops up, just type the number six in it. And basically, you're going to do this. You're going to repeat that step for all your buttons. Click the click the spell. Put it in. Try to center it in the middle of the of the uh, spell. Type the numbers that I have just just as I have on the screen. Five here, two here, four, one, three. And for your change up, seven and eight for changing the character. OK, and like I said, all you have to do is click on the button and it'll pop up a box, type a number in it. I was just doing that to show you how it works. I'm going to X that. If you mess up, just hit the X and just redo it. OK, once you have done this and it looks like I have it on the screen here, go ahead and hit the save. This is going to allow you to set the opacity of your keys. Right now I have mine on transparent, but if you slide this bar all the way over, it will light them up so you can see them. I recommend leaving them at 100% for now until we can complete the setup. So go ahead and leave it here. Hit yes. Now, now you're going to go back to Joyce key. And if you would left it open, all you have to do is click on that again and bring it up. And it should look like this. You should be on joystick one tab and it should show something similar to what I have. Now, basically what we're going to do is we're going to set the desired keys for the skill that we want to use. Now, you don't have to copy mine exactly here. You can set any key on your controller to whatever skill you want to use. OK, um, of course, if you want to copy mine, that's fine. I can tell you now the reason mine is set this way is because on my iPad, my controller for my iPad, this is the same button configuration that I use for that controller. So I just wanted it to be the same so I, don't have, so I don't have to relearn buttons. So first thing you want to do in order to set these buttons is let's start with the directional stick first so you can control the way you're moving. And if you notice on your if you have the gamepad already on the left joystick, if you move it, it will light up yellow on the screen. Any button you press, you will see which button it is as it lights up yellow on the joy to key. So that will help you identify which button is which and then you can decide what skill 
you want that button to represent. So for me, the first stick to the right is going to be D. So click that, hit edit button assignment, type D as I already have it typed in the first space there. Once you do that, hit OK. Move down to the next one, which is the up, which is W. Hit edit button assignment, type W, hit OK. Do the same for S, which is going to be your down. Hit edit button assignment, hit OK. And did I miss one? Oh, A is at the top. I'm sorry, you couldn't see it because I didn't have it scrolled up. Make sure you do your A as well, OK? And of course, um, I have the D-pad set as well with the same controls. You don't have to do the D-pad. I don't use it. I just did it just to have it set. Uh, but let's move down to your buttons now. And again, the buttons, if you don't know which button is what, I'm going to go down to button one so you can see them. So if you click, if you press a button, it lights up. So that lets you know which button is what. And I have mine set for the particular skill that I want. So go ahead and hit, let's say, for example, button one, edit button assignment, type six or whatever skill you want button one to represent in your case and hit OK and you just going to basically repeat the steps. OK, just repeat the steps on this particular game pad. Uh, the left and right trigger are button 11 and 12. So if you don't see that, make sure you scroll down. So when you have pull, just pull the uh, trigger, the left trigger, 11 lights up and I pull the right trigger, button 12 lights up again, hit edit button assignment, type the desired skill that you want to work for you. OK, once that's done, um, that part is all set. You're going to notice it says profile one here. You can rename this profile in case you want to set up multiple profiles or you can just leave it profile one. That's fine. That's what I did with mine. The next step you're going to need to do, make sure you follow this carefully, is hit settings, associate profiles with applications. Now, this setup is pretty much the same for Memu and Knox. So you could just do the same process we're going to do right now. Go ahead and hit, hit that. And I'm going to delete one of these because I have, well, you know what, forget it. So the first thing you want to do, let me go ahead and delete one. I don't want to have too many. So the first thing you're going to want to do is hit add. OK, because you shouldn't have any there. And uh, since we're using Knox, type in the word Knox there. OK, so we're going to type Knox in the first space. Um, next, go down to where it says applicate associated profile. Since we only have one profile, which is one or whatever you rename yours to, make sure you select it here and then Go ahead and hit capture application info. It's going to pop up this window and it's going to say after pressing the button below, select the target application window. So hit capture application, press this button. Then all you need to do is just go to Knox app and just type, just, just click anywhere on the screen. Okay. And it will recognize it and it will put the information right in here. Then you should see the uh, target location of Knox. Okay. Once that's done, hit okay. And there you see it should add Knox as associated profile there for you. Then you can OK. And now technically you're absolutely done setting it up. Uh, you can also just to make sure your controller is still connected. If you hit the options tab here, you can hit configure. It's going to bring up this window. Hit configure game controller property. This just makes sure your your controller is still connected. You should see your game controller here. Um, there's mine there, GamePad F310. I'm going to hit Properties. And it's going to bring up this window right here. And basically, if I move around, as you can see, I'm using, it, I'm using the left joystick, which is controlling my direction. And I'm pressing buttons. And basically, it lights up the, the button that you're actually pressing. So that lets me know that my controller is actually connected and working. So hit OK, just to make sure that's done. If that's not, if you don't see your controller here, unplug the USB from your computer, plug it back in and just do the same step over. OK, go back to options and check it and make sure you see that. If you don't see it again, unplug it from your computer, plug it back in just to make sure it shows up there. If that's good to go, you can actually close this window. And now I can go back to the game. I'm going to hit continue. And as you can see, I am using my controller. And everything works just fine. There's no lag whatsoever. Skills are phenomenal. And now you can go into Extreme Alliance Battle or whatever game mode you want to go into and not experience this, the horrible lag that we're experiencing on some of these Android devices. And hopefully this should net you some higher scores in Alliance Battle. Okay, guys. Switch characters there with my buttons as you can see everything works phenomenal and there we have it you're all set 
Now, once that's done and you are happy with the way it's set up, everything works, I recommend you go back to the right hand side, hit simulate touch. And you could do this once you've learned your, your skills and know where the buttons are. Hit, just hit the save. And then you could just go ahead and turn this opacity down. You could turn that back down to zero so you don't see the actual skills or numbers. If you want to leave them up there, that's fine. Leave it to whatever setting you want. But I leave mine off because I don't need it. And there we go. And you're all done. Okay. So that is how you set up the Logitech F310 game pad controller with using Knox. It works the same way in Memu. It's only difference in Memu is you don't have to connect the controller. It's automatically connected once you finish the joy the key portion of it. Okay. Um, the setup processes are still there. There is a keyboard icon on Memu that you set the controls the same way we did. Um, and you should be good to go. Now, if you have any concerns or any questions about it, if it doesn't work, make sure you leave a comment or you can also hit me up on line chat at T Mizzle. That's my username. Uh, of course, I will leave all the links in the description. And uh, guys, if you like this video, if it helped you out, make sure you leave a like and of course, subscribe for more content just like this. This is your boy T Mizzle and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out.